Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be treasure hunting in the beautiful country of Belize at one of the most popular beaches in the entire country, Secret Beach. Feels so good to be somewhere new. And ladies and gentlemen, this place is gonna be so dialed for treasure. It is taking our treasure game from down here in the swampy waters of Florida to way up here in the beautiful country of Belize, where a lot of really cool people lose some really cool things. And that's what brings us to the secret beach. We have floating water parks. We've got custom floating cabanas. We also have tables that you can get with umbrellas in the water. The whole idea of this place is for everyone in Belize to have somewhere beautiful to go, hang out and experience the water with their loved ones. And unfortunately lose a couple of wedding rings Rings and valuables a long way. And that's why your boy Brandon J is here with the metal detector. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. You're looking at the very first underwater metal detector that has ever seen Secret Beach, which basically means all of the treasures that have been lost here, well, they're still here until today because we're getting all the wedding rings. You might be asking yourself, Brandon J, how did you end up in Belize? Well, that is a great question. We teamed up with a legend named Will. He owns the largest real estate company in the entire country of Belize. Not only does he have a lot of awesome opportunities out here, he also has one heck of a YouTube channel. And he saw my content, decided to bring me out and basically up-level what I'm already doing into Belize. So thanks, Will, because without you, I'd probably be in a swamp right now. All right, guys, so this is Will. He is the whole reason we're out here. So when we pulled up, Everything we've seen has just been like raw beauty. So it's been like beautiful water, beautiful mangroves, beautiful homes. We pull up here, it's like a party destination. <laughs> there's wild colors everywhere. There's people just having a good time. We're here a little bit early though, so we can actually metal detect under all the beach bars and all of the cool seating that's in the water. We won't be metal detecting under people's toes. While this place doesn't look packed right now, it's because we came here early just to metal detect all the areas where the people are gonna be. What, what happened? Somebody lost an oil ring right there. Ring right on the corner over yes, here? Right Did they say it was wedding ring? Or? Wedding ring. Was it a, a girl or? It's a girl. A girl's wedding, girl. ring. Girl's wedding ring. Oh. Girl's wedding ring. Big diamonds. On the bottom okay. of, the, of the water park too, they have a lot of guys who lost their stuff chain. here. Lost a chain yeah. where? A gold chain right here. On the water park? On the water park, yes sir. Oh, snap, boy. See, we, I've treasure hunted all the terrible parts and we just find like rusty sunglasses, but here, you know, it's like Sounds top quality treasure. Yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate the intel. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you, bro. Appreciate that. We got some key items. We got some hot spots. We got some treasure to find. Chow, chow, chow. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> We're starting it off right with our very first piece. Oh, a Belize treasure. It is a Jurassic Park Dr. Pepper. I think us picking up this can and tossing it away is gonna be good karma. So let's go ahead and grab the metal detector and search for treasure. If you guys are new to the channel, all the trash we find, we throw away. All of the goods we find, we keep and try to get them back to the owners and share the experience with you guys here on YouTube. Let's go find some treasure. We made it to spot number one, which might remind you guys of some stuff we've done back in the US, which is floating water parks. Now, there's a bunch of people that come out here. This is where all their kids are gonna come out and a few adults that hopefully are clumsy trying to watch over their kids, maybe lose an iPhone, maybe lose some rings. If I had to guess, I would say that most likely we're gonna find jewelry or anything like that because the water is only about four foot deep here and it's crystal clear, pretty much like all the water in Belize. So if someone does lose an iPhone, just hop in and grab it real quick. Now, if someone loses a diamond ring or anything like that, it's gonna be hard to find in the sand. So that's where we come in with the goggles, metal detector, no scuba tank though. So your boy's just gonna take deep breaths and hope for the best. All right, first spot, we're gonna be diving under, oh, no, no. now we're gonna be diving under the monkey bars for obvious reasons. It's kinda hard to hold on, especially with gloves. Those are the gloves, give me a break. Wish me luck, boys. I'll see you at the bottom. We just got some little trash. <laughs> Nothing crazy. There's so many tiny pieces of metal here. It's like a landfill of like just metal pieces, bro. It's making metal detecting impossible. I have a super strong reading right here. This is gonna be, this is gonna be something I think. 
toss a metal detector away. I'm gonna go in with a pin pointer. This is gonna help me just find exactly where it's at. Metal detector tells me where it is. This helps me know right when I'm on it. <laughs> we got something, bro. We got a nice triangle earring. Got some jewelry, bro. We're gonna keep searching around this area. That was literally a couple seconds. All right, let's keep going. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Diamond ring in Belize, baby. I'll put it next to the yellow so you guys can see it. You can see nice little gold band, pretty tarnished, I'm not gonna lie, but the leaves right there, those have diamonds in them, bro. Which means that is our first diamond ring of Belize. We've got the diamond earring, and now we've got the diamond ring. Dude, we got some more money. Every hit I get, I'm just like, this could be it, bro. <laughs> this could be it. 50 cents this time. Next time, we'll find a dollar. I just found the perm. I just thought of you about the thing I just found. Really? I'm coming. He's got something. I don't know what. You know, when we first talked. Yeah. And I said, man, it's kind of like you've got, you know, the the slogan I've given you, kind of. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what that is? Of course, the keys to Belize. I think you might have them now. Then. I I may have found <laughs> the key to Belize. So <laughs> I want to officially give you this. This is an honor. Because now you actually have the keys to Belize. <laughs> Brother, thank you. This is a true honor right now. <laughs> when he invited me out here, I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. And then he was like, yeah, I've got this set up, and then this, and then we got a plane going over here. And then when I showed it to the airport, the guy was like, Brandon, come here. I thought I was in trouble, but then he was like. Yeah, just bypass all this, get on this plane, go here. So I was like, man, this guy, he's just like got the keys to Belize here. And so now you officially, brother, have the keys to Bro, Belize. Thank yes. you, man. We got the key right here. No problem. Oh, did you drop the keys to I Belize? I oh my gosh. <laughs> Fumbled the ball. <laughs> all right. Well, let's move on to the next spot. We'll pick a banger spot for you guys. But this spot's loaded. We'll have to come back and search this because we know there's fire items here. And spot number two, we are at the beachside cabana tables. This is where people go with their families. I'm imagining a lot of people hang out below all the beautiful palm trees, crack a coconut, crack a cold one, come into the water, hang out, cool off on a hot day. While they're there, believe it or not, scientifically, your fingers swell and shrink based on the temperature. So while it's hot outside of the water, your fingers actually expand because of all the blood and the heat. But when you go into the water, your fingers actually shrink. Fun science fact for you. We're gonna search each of these tables, maybe even under some people's toes if they decide to sit down. <laughs> and we're gonna look for wedding rings. Now, it's only like a foot or two foot deep here, so if they drop an iPhone, they'll probably pick it up. But any jewelry gets sucked under the sand really quickly and it's super hard to find unless you have goggles immediately, which most people don't. So, let's hop in, see what we can find. How'd you like that science fact? Like Bill Nye the Brandon J guy, or Bill Brandon J the Bill guy. You'll, you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna find about a billion of these things, which are bottle tops. People are coming out here, they're drinking, they're popping tops, and I guarantee I'm gonna have to go through about a thousand of these before I find one valuable. Dang it. Uh, we're gonna have to get out of here. I'm gonna search this for about five more minutes, but I have literally went maybe seven inches this way and found another. My metal detector is popping off everywhere, and I guarantee it's just a thousand of these things. How about we move to deeper water trap? <laughs> Let's go to deeper water. Let's go to uh, 18 inches of water instead of 10. <laughs> look, look, look. 
I also have a key to Belize. <laughs> that is amazing. Will might have one of the bigger keys that I found, but I also now have a key to Belize. So, Will, if you're watching this, it's not about the size of your key, it's about what it unlocks. Was that deep? Did that sound like poetic? On a real note, all the people that come out here, like that's like a key to like a house, dude. If you lose that, you're not going home, brother. The beach is now starting to pop up a little bit. There's a whole golf cart full of people. There's probably like, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 people that just arrived. So this place is starting to pick up a little bit. That's so why we gotta hurry up and treasure hunt these spots. So I'm not <laughs> treasure hunting under people's toes, which could be kind of fun too. I found a dollar, brother. One dollar, I found a dollar. Look at that, it's a freaking octagon. That is so cool. It's got like a, it's either a great blue herring or a hummingbird. And I'm gonna guess since we're around all this water, it's probably a great blue herring. Dang, I found a dollar, brother, we're rich. Dude, insane vibes here. Absolutely insane. Oh man, this is like a treasure hunter's paradise. Just each spot, there's more people, there's more unique features. You've got the tiki seats right here where people are just eating, drinking. You can metal detect that. Thing is, everyone comes out here for vacation, but no one comes out here to metal detect. I know it's kind of weird that I am even metal detecting, but that's the cool thing about it is like this is untouched. It's kind of like fishing in a place that's never been fished before. You're gonna catch a bunch of fish. None of this stuff that's ever been dropped has been recovered. So even if it was dropped tens of years ago, if it hasn't eroded with rust, then it's still here for me to find. And that's the cool thing about this place. What up boys? Yeah. I heard there's a viper that needs to be drinking here or something. What we're gonna do now is a viper infused rum shot. Oh, and no. we're talking like literally the snake is in the bottle. Oh, no. A viper infused shot here. Metal detecting is about to get a little lit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> viper rum, only at Maruba. All right, so we got a ritual. This is just ice and water. We don't need this. Okay, no ice, no water, no, got no, it. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> what we need is a vitamin S. Oh, you vitamin four? snake. <laughs> <laughs> Save me a little viper vitamin right, there, Don't you? shoot yet, because we got a ritual. Yeah, okay, yeah, of course. okay. I see a Jeez. scale in mine for oh, sure. Man. Yeah. Vitamin S, vitamin S. <laughs> vitamin S. Oh, yes. A lot of flakes, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, no. When you're taking the shot, okay. you put the tip of your finger on the liquid. Go, <laughs> suck, suck. Next. Well, uh, is this tip? cool? Take it off, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be on fire. That's gonna, that's this is unacceptable. <laughs> Just light uh, my finger on fire. Do the tip, right? All right, so tip you're lighting finger. my finger on fire. Something like this. Sick, when bro. I light, <laughs> okay. You suck the flame. You gotta be quick, right? When I okay. light, you suck. When I said go, you go. I'm waiting with mine. Go, go, suck. You feel it? Oh, whoa. Go okay. Not Interesting. Bad. Not yeah. bad. Go, suck. <laughs> you shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> so now, now hold, hold, hold your pineapple. Okay. Okay. Brandon in Belize here, guys. Yeah, Brandon, yeah. cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Go. Suck the sugar. Take the shot. Don't breathe. All right. I got some more sugar in that. And eat the pineapple. You guys Woo. are officially a Marubian. Welcome to the family. I already was a Marubian. Double, double. That is very painful. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Brendan, do the honors. You got to write your name now. You Not gotta easy. go first, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need a minute. I got so much vitamin S in me right now, bro. <laughs> Woo. Okay, we conquered the snake shot. I'm full of vitamin S right now. And when you take the Viper shot, you actually get to take a marker and write your name on the bar to lock you in in Snake Viper history. So, got our marker. My stomach is still on fire. I am not okay. Well, let's go ahead and leave our name. So if you guys come out, write your name next to mine, tag me on Instagram, I'll be sure to share it. Cheers. All right, so if you guys ever come here, I'll leave this place linked in the description. Come get the Viper shot and write your name next to my name. We picked a piece of wood with a lot of space. So all you guys could come out, leave your names, tag me on Instagram, let me know you made it here. The Viper shot was legendary. Not gonna lie, your boy's feeling loosey goosey. But that's what it's all about. So I guess I'll see you guys at the bar via name. Oh my How goodness, bro. Can we order? Yeah. Getting a little worried now. I might have ordered too much. <laughs> Look at all this food. Goodness gracious, bro.
This is just some of the food. He's actually still grabbing stuff right now. What oh, is yeah. that thing, bro? That's a TP yeah. of food right there, bro. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, yeah. man. <laughs> wow. Well, that was crazy, man. That's a crazy tradition, but we got under one of these uh, little tiki picnic table things, if you will. We've got a bag full of treasure, so I'm gonna lay this stuff out. Will is actually back up there, finishing up probably some nachos. We had so much food. So I'm gonna lay this up, and then I'm gonna show him everything we found. How you feeling after the old Venom shot, bro? Man, honestly, that hit me way harder than expected. I know, that's what I was saying. I was like, my metal detector is gonna be all over the place. The uh, weather is actually changing a little bit. It's a little later, so I think we're gonna leave the treasure, do a last minute dinner spear session. I agree with the idea. Yeah? Yeah. I love it. Before we leave, I had to show them the treasure, right? So we've got three different tiers. Okay. We've got all the beer. Great. We've got the actual treasure, which I would identify as treasure. Yep. And then we got straight garbage. Yeah. Which <laughs> these two could almost be the same. Yeah. We got the key. We've got a couple different coins. We actually lost a What's it called? A Belizean? Yeah, Belizean dollar. Belizean dollar. Belizean dollar. So yeah. we lost that. That was a really cool octagonal trapezoid hexa ramagram. One of the shapes. Yeah. So as far as bangers, we got the necklace, the earring. But we did find a ring with diamonds crested in it. Oh, I don't what? know if they're real diamonds now. I don't know. What? I consider it a dub. This is A huge. Belize treasure hunting dub. My first ring ever in Belize. Wow. I was thinking we had bottle caps and stuff. Well, you definitely have that, brother. I had to go about a thousand <laughs> bottle caps to find anything, but. Dude, this is sick. So that's the first piece of real treasure. So we yeah. got the earring, technically. That's yeah, like yeah. an earring, but you know, obviously no real value there. We've got the necklace, which is a cool concept, but yeah. no real value there. That's the only thing with some potential real value. Unless, you know, you count our both of our keys to Belize. Yeah, I'm Maybe never we gonna... have a home somewhere that we just don't know about now that we can unlock. I like that. For the home, uh, the key to Belize, this yeah. is the, the really valuable one for me. That is it's Belize treasure hunting. So I'm sure there will be more treasure hunting, but let's uh, rip to the spear mission. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. We got a modern day Blackbeard right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank I you, bro. Thank you. It's your first Thank time you, seeing treasure pulled out of your backyard. What do you think? Dude, I, I can't believe it. Like, I never ever <laughs> even thought about doing this and coming yeah, yeah. out here seeing like the ring, yes, the bro. keys, everything we're yes. finding. It's crazy, man. You have some treasures of your own. Man, you know, for me, the treasure really is the development, the yes. growth, the opportunity here, yep. and everything Secret Beach has become because this is like, raw it's the true opportunity of the island yes. really and even like looking at the lots in here the pieces of land starting at around thirty five thousand dollars so crazy. that's the crazy treasure for you can me. get an actual piece of belize for 35 grand yeah it's pretty crazy man it's and wild like, bro the beaches the views like the people everything you're experiencing yes, right now man. but this is like the cherry on top seeing the rings the keys yeah i'm sure if we actually dug into this and like went for a while Oh, bro, there's wedding rings to be found. Yeah, the rumor has it 500 or so wedding rings. So we found one out of 500. That means from here to there, there's 499. I got some work to do. I think we definitely <laughs> got to come back. But um, get back in. And yeah, find. I think we're going to grab some uh, last minute dinner, right? I think we should. Go on a quick uh, little last minute spear session to cap off the night. So uh, Trav and I can be eating good in our beautiful home that you provided for us. So you need the food. Yes, I still gotta show people that. It's gonna be crazy. So uh, let's get it with a last minute spear session. While Will's getting the boat and gear ready for the spear mission tonight, uh, I just wanna take a second to just be super genuine with you. He's a super humble guy and he's not just gonna come out and say it, but I had to paint some light on this because the past 24 hours, I've learned a lot about the impact that Will is actually having on Belize. All of the opportunities he is creating in this country, he is quite legitimately building infrastructure for the locals, for the country, and for this place to become a beautiful tourist spot, which we all know what that means. It just builds up the economy in the country it's in. So Will and his team with all the real estate, all the opportunities, all the infrastructure, all of the ecotourism things that they're building it's making a huge impact on belize i want to make sure you guys understand kind of the importance that will has in this area and just all of the great things he's bringing because he won't come out and say it and he's just too humble of a guy for that so as we move forward on all these adventures i want you to know that he's unlocking this place to make it even bigger and better for the country for the people that live here and for the people who want to visit 
And that's truly incredible. Goodbye, Secret Beach. Hello, dinner. And by the way, what, what did you just do? Tell the people at home. I think I did another uh, Viper shot. Oh, boy, that is rough, dude. Oh, man. Times two on the wall, baby. Yeah, dude. Congrats on that. Oh, yeah, I feel in 10 minutes. One thing about this spot, the visibility is hit or miss. Yeah, what, what he doesn't realize is, you guys know, my visibility back home in Tampa is uh, a good day you can see the end of your spear gun. So I'm already seeing the bottom from the top here, but uh, check this out. First spot we're gonna be going to is this old, uh, looks like some type of maybe light house navigation oriented piece of equipment. So it's all rusted, all broke up. It's gonna be dope, we're gonna drop down. Got a bunch of weights on, so I'll just be able to hunker on the bottom, crawl like a little crab. See if I can see some mangoes. Basically, we're looking for snapper, anything we can bring home. There's a ton of species here. And uh, while I'm here, black grouper will be on the bucket list. Never got a black grouper before, always wanted one. Maybe tomorrow when we do our proper spear rip, might be able to get one of those. But oh my gosh, bro, the bait. There's balls of bait ripping. Okay, we gotta get in the water. The life is just teeming around here. First spear drop in Belize, let's do it. I gotta drop some weight. I've got my treasure weight on. I've had this guy at my stomach for a while. Baby mango. There's like a zillion of these things down there. Waiting for some monster ones to come through, but we'll see. Might be able to make something crazy happen here. Dinner, baby! <laughs> right at the boat! <laughs> that was ridiculous. Dinner for a half person. Yeah, man. I saw him rushing, dude. I literally just hopped in. I think that might be my first uh, Mackie I've ever speared. All right, sick. New species. Got the mackerel, literally just chasing right at the bottom of the boat. So we got a mango and a mackerel. First couple fish in Belize, but more importantly, dinner for tonight. Ooh. Ooh. Good start. I'm good if you're good, bro. Wrapped up the spear mission. I think it's success. Now it's time to head to the house. We're ripping, boys! Oh, it's so close! Oh my goodness, bro. Wow. That was the most Mission Impossible scene ever, dude. James Bond, baby. Dude, just ripping through the canals, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. We were moving, dude. We were moving. Yeah, we were earning and burning, baby. Yeah, there was like three foot on either side of us, too. That was nuts. Look at this, pulling up to home sweet home. Doesn't get much better than that. Just dump the gear, take our fish, cook up, hit the outdoor shower. Beer mission yeah. success. Mission bro. accomplished. <laughs> it was a treasure mission I turned was, into dinner. I honestly, I was worried about not getting any fish, but yeah, we're done. That was quick. <laughs> or you're done. You took us to the spot, bro. We'll see you guys. Double Viper man. Double Viper shot. You're a legend, bro. Hey. Nice meeting you. Yes. Whatever you guys yes. do. Nice meeting you as well. Successful treasure Dude, and spear sin. Successful day one. Tomorrow, blue hole, Wahoo mission, spearfish. Life is good. Camping on the, it's gonna be crazy. All right. Get ready for this. Sounds good. Well, they're gonna rip onto their house. So Trav and I, we've got some fish. We've got some fishing poles. We've got a whole lot of stuff, but figured we'd clean up an outside shower and then give you guys a quick inside tour to show you where we're gonna be staying for the next few days. Even though we're gonna be sleeping on a beach tomorrow night, Travis. So the, get used to the nice house tonight because tomorrow we won't have it. 
Thank you. Watch out for the crocodiles. He lives in that bush, I think. Guys are legends, man. Absolutely great people. It's hard to believe this trip is even real. The treasure's crazy. The spearfishing's crazy. We're in a different country. It feels like home. I got surprised with this house that we're staying at. It's better than any house I've been to back in the U.S. And we're in a different country. It's incredible. Let me wash off the salt and then give you guys a proper house tour of the house we're staying in because let's just say Will hooked it up. Casa Jiggin. The only way to start the tour is by going through the front door. Look how beautiful this house is. Seriously, it's gorgeous, man. You've got this, you've got new developments all around new developments. This house is completely finished up. Now, the best part is I had no idea when we were staying when we got here. And this is probably the best surprise we could have ever gotten. Well, here's Travis's room, but he's taking a shower right now. You have this hallway here to the right. This is my room. It's absolutely beautiful. Monster bed, dude. It's like a massive king size bed, okay? This is the life of luxury. I don't even got these at my own house. Got the bathroom set up. Look at this right here, man. So beautiful. You got the view outside here. You've got the outdoor shower right down there. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is my favorite part right here. This little room is like a super cool nook. You've got some freaking tic-tac-toe going on over there. Oh, the bean bag. Love the bean bag chair. Except there's no beans, it's just it's a fluff bag. We've got the living room out here, absolutely beautiful. And we've got the kitchen right now. We've got some fish in it, baby. And uh, well, Will surprised us. He gave us some rum in here, his book, uh, and we actually got some chocolates and a charcuterie board that's in the fridge. When we get done cleaning up the fish, we've got a big old fishing rod. So we're gonna cast it right on the back deck. And that's what makes this place truly special. You guys have already seen. You can actually take your boat, pull it right up to the house. Boom, you're here. You're ready to rock and roll. This is why these houses are so unique. And yes, those are my underwear from today. <laughs> so you've got the beautiful porch here. You are in beautiful Belize, the wild Belize that this is. So wild, in fact, that this morning, Trav and I were on this very porch and saw a crocodile. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, that's a legit crocodile right off the back of the house. <laughs> oh my God. What was that like nine foot, 10 oh, foot? Yeah, oh shoot. Real crocodile, big crocodile. It's real out here. And that wraps up the tour, which thus brings us to the end of today's video. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're <laughs> just like, those guys are fired up, dude. They honestly, they get me fired up. They're wild. Treasure, amazing. Spear fishing at the very end. Travis and I now have a nice little meal. Absolutely incredible. You guys got to see the house. That is just over the top. It's stuff like this. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pay Will and his team back. So the most I can do is just surprise them with you guys. Remember, he has a YouTube channel. You guys obviously see the vibe, you see the energy, and uh, you'll see more of him throughout the videos, but He's doing some really cool stuff, building infrastructure in the country of Belize. I wanted to invite me out to experience everything that's going on here and just go out and have some crazy sins like we're gonna do for the next few days. So the most I can do to show him my appreciation is just send the Jig and Army over his way. Sub to his channel, be linked in the description. And again, he doesn't know I'm saying this. I wanna surprise him. I'll be back in America when these are posted and he's just gonna get blasted with subscribers, I hope. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I truly do appreciate it. And as always, we'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out.